Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 16th of 2024 is titled The Orion You Can Almost See. So what do we see here? Well, here we first see an image of the region around Orion. Now, Orion is a prominent constellation, and you normally can see several bright stars there. Now, you notice that they're not easily visible here, so let's take a closer look and see. And we'll label a few things as well. And what we see is that, yes, you can see the stars in Orion when they're highlighted. However, because of the processing here and the imaging, taking a very long, deep exposure brings out a lot of fainter material that would not normally be visible to your eyes. So this is all there when you look at Orion in the sky but you just can't see all of the gas and dust around here because our eyes don't pick up material for long periods of time. So when your camera exposure can be left open and gives us far more detail and allows us to see far fainter things than could otherwise be seen. Now here we see the prominent stars in Orion, including the bright star Betelgeuse to the upper left. And we note that is a reddish colored star and that signifies its temperature. A red colored star like Betelgeuse is relatively cool, about 3000 degrees, half the temperature of our own sun. By comparison, in the lower right, we see the bright star Rigel. Rigel looking very blue, and the blue signifies a very high temperature for our star. In this case, several times the temperature of our own sun. And much, much hotter. And of course, we also see a lot of the other stars there. We can see the three stars in the belt in the middle of this image. And down below the belt, we can see the region around the Orion Nebula prominent there. The Orion Nebula can sometimes be seen with the naked eye. Uh, if you know where to look it, uh, below the belt of Orion. However, of course, it will not look as prominent as it does in this image. Now, what it, you will see is a fuzzier patch. It's what looks like a star, but maybe a little bit fuzzier. And that is actually the Orion Nebula. Now, a lot of the other things that we see here are uh, just some of the gas and dust associated with the Orion star forming region. The C shape of red color around the belt of Orion. So starting a little above the belt and then going around to the left hand side and then down towards Rigel is Barnard's loop, a loop of material and gaseous material that is being energized by these hot stars. So the reddish color that we see is associated with hydrogen gas. And and when hydrogen gas is excited and its electrons jump through the energy levels of the hydrogen atom, one line that they give off, one specific color that they give off in the visible part of the spectrum is a deep red. And that's why we see a lot of red colors in the nebulae. Now we also see some of the darker dusty areas and some of those are slightly bluish tinged by reflection from the stars. So you can see those scattered around as well. Orion is a prominent star forming region and really one of the nearest star forming regions to us here. So one of the ones that we can study the best to learn about the process by which stars form. And here in this very deep image that was taken, we can see a lot more of that detail of the this region than we normally see with our eyes. So that was our picture of the day for January 16th of 2024. It was titled The Orion You Can Almost See. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the Sea of Serenity. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.